Hey guys, Zenith here. So today I thought I would share my top 5 favourite Nintendo Switch games. So let's just get right into it and start with number 5. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This game came out on the same day as the Nintendo Switch, so I'm sure quite a lot of people who got the Switch at launch have played this too. And I'm in pretty much the same situation. I mostly only got this game because it was new and it was with the Switch, there wasn't really much else to play. And man, I feel like this is probably one of the best launch titles that has ever been released in the history of video gaming. The world design is definitely my favourite part of Breath of the Wild. It is just so beautiful and every single time I play it, I always find something completely new that I've never seen before. The gameplay revolving around exploration and looting really, really clicked with me. I just love games where you can just endlessly play over and over again and collect as much loot as you can, craft things and just use it to get more loot. I specifically really enjoyed farming giant ancient cores. I really liked getting the weapons and stuff that you can create with them and that is just one thing that I found Kind of repetitive but really enjoyed. Along with that, the combat system is honestly one of my favourite of all time. Even though it's pretty basic, it does require quite a bit of skill to get good at it and there is quite a lot you can uh, do with the battle system. And if you play on master mode, you're definitely in for a challenge. Breath of the Wild also has one of my favourite soundtracks of all time. It's just so well done, all the way down to the piano sounds that play randomly while you're exploring the world. I just love it so much. Even the presentation music for the 2017 announcement was really, really good, and I, I very often listen to that on its own. Even though the game seems pretty lonely, I actually really liked the characters in this game, specifically the champions. Even though you only really see them in cutscenes, they're definitely there, and they definitely had a big impact on the story of the game, if you ask me. It's everything I could have ever wanted from a Nintendo survival game, and I really can't wait to see what the uh, sequel brings us. Anyways, next one. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. This game is really special to me. It was the first game I ever played from the Xenoblade Chronicles series and it really was an adventure. Ever since seeing the trailer, I just knew that I loved the concept and had to get the game. I pre-ordered it digitally and played it at release time, literally the second it released. The main reason I love this game is because of its story. It's got so many crazy plot twists and really is probably the most unpredictable RPG I've ever played in my life. If you want a good story, this is definitely a game that you have to play. The voice acting really, really makes the game. Seriously, Adam Howden, the voice actor of Shulk, did such an incredible job at showing Shulk's emotions and he's really not afraid to scream, unlike the voice actor for Rex from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. This game will always be a great example of the best voice acting of all time in video games, and a reason why video games need to focus more on getting actual talented voice actors rather than just famous celebrities to voice their games. Other than the story and the voice acting, I really really liked the combat and the gameplay. I've tried a few MMOs before this game and never really got into them because I don't really have many friends who play MMOs. Um, for example, I tried to get into Final Fantasy XIV a while ago and just didn't really carry on with it because I was just kind of lonely. It just felt like I was doing everything on my own in a world full of people doing things together. Sunblade Chronicles really changed that for me. It's pretty much a single player MMO. It has that MMO kind of gameplay, it has the side questing and all that, and I really loved that. It gave me the MMO feel anytime, anywhere, and I love that. The music is also really, really good. It's composed by Yoko Shimomura, well, and Ace, um, and some of that music is music that I listen to very often. I really like it. The title theme is amazing, engage the enemy. I feel like they really got it right with Xenoblade Chronicles 1. Uh, unfortunately, Xenoblade Chronicles X had a different composer, and even though it's not really bad, I definitely think Yoko Shimomura and Ace really give Xenoblade the feel that it has.
Fire Emblem Three Houses is the first and only Fire Emblem game I've ever played. My mum was the one who suggested that I played it, and she even lent me her copy to play for a bit. I really enjoyed it at first, but I decided to give it back to her because I didn't want to dedicate myself to a game that I didn't actually own. I eventually bought it myself around mid-2020 and decided to dedicate myself to play it. Up to now, I've played about 120 hours of this game, and I don't think I've even gotten halfway through what the game has to offer. If you want to get the whole story, you have to play the game four times. Now, this was a bit intimidating at first. I went into the game being like, okay, I'll play one of the runs and see what I feel like afterwards. And after being that first run, I did blue lines by the way, I decided I need to finish this game. I'm currently about two thirds of the way through um, the red one, I can't remember what it's called, the one with Edelgard and I'm loving it. It's really, really good, and I can't wait to do the other two runs. It's got such a crazy and deep story, which I really can't wait to see the rest of. Three Houses has got to be one of the most high-effort games Nintendo has ever released in their entire history. The game really just has so much put into it. From the story, to the voice acting, to the gameplay, everything is just so well done. Sure, the graphics, they're not the best. In, in fact, I would probably say they're pretty bad. But uh, seriously, this game, don't judge it based on its graphics. It really is good. What amazes me the most is that nearly every bit of dialogue from the characters is fully voice acted, and there is a lot of dialogue. And on top of that, the voice acting is extremely good. All of the voice actors have fit their role perfectly, and it's just so good voice acting, especially Dimitri's voice acting. His voice acting is some of the best I've heard. It's definitely up there with Xenoblade. As well as the main story being enormous, there is so much backstory to each of the individual characters. Each run has quite a few students that you acquire, and you learn quite a lot about them as you go through their, their uh, cutscenes and their quests and all that stuff, and it, it really does amaze me how much backstory they've put into each individual character. Not only that, but there is also multiple cutscenes for each character paired together. For example, you could look at one character, look at another one, and then you can watch a cutscene of them interacting with, with each other. And I found that amazing. I spent hours just going over those cutscenes, watching all of it play out. I didn't even know this existed until I was playing New Game Plus. Seriously, there is just such an incredible amount of content in this game, and for the price, I really feel like I'm ripping Nintendo off, and I know that's such a fanboy thing to say, but it really does feel like that. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. If you've been watching my live streams for a while, you'll have definitely seen me play this game a lot. Obviously, I was going to put it in my top 5. I've tried quite a few fighting games, but I always end up coming back to Smash Bros. I love this game the most because it has such a massive variety of characters. I've never decided on a main because there's just so many that I like. Sometimes I want to play as Byleth, sometimes I want to play as Sephiroth, Pyra, Link, Shulk. There are just so many great characters that I love from all the video game series that I've played before, and it's just so hard to decide, and they're all so well done. Nearly every time I play against a new person in Smash Bros, it's always a completely new experience, which is what I love. It's got such an incredible amount of gameplay, which is pretty much unlimited. You will never run out of stuff to do in this game as long as people are playing it, and in the past three years that this game has been out, we've been getting characters pretty consistently added as DLC. Whenever I take my Switch out with me, I always have a copy of Smash Bros. It's fun even if I'm just playing against CPUs, which, to be honest, I do far more often than I play against players. Really, just such a great game, and I'm not usually into competitive games, but Smash Bros. really is special to me, and that's why it's number two. And now, the final game on this list. If you've been around for a while, you probably already know what it is. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is my favourite game on the Nintendo Switch. I seriously loved this game right from the beginning. I started it a couple months after finishing Xenoblade 1, and I got it digitally one night because I just couldn't be bothered waiting for a physical version to arrive. I definitely regret that now because it's worth quite a lot. <laughs> Unlike the first Xenoblade, the reason I love this game the most is not because of the story, it's because of the gameplay. Something about the gameplay mechanics of Xenoblade 2 just felt like the game was made for me. I loved farming for core crystals to unlock all of the rare blades, going through side quests to gain XP, finding the perfect gear to add to my characters, and doing tasks to level up my blade's affinity. Nearly every single part of this game I loved. At no point did the game feel tedious whatsoever. Xenoblade 1 definitely did. 
The story of Xenoblade 2 was really good, I wouldn't spoil anything, but it definitely held up to the original game's story, but in a different way. And uh, you'll find out if you play it yourself. Play both of them. Play one first, I would recommend. The music was absolutely better than the first games. I thought the first game had really good music, but seriously, 2, 2's music is an incredible soundtrack and I'm still yet to buy it on CD. It is composed by Ace, just like the first game, and not like the second one, which was Xenoblade X, uh, which is a bit weird because it's called Xenoblade 2, but it's not the second one. The voice acting was definitely far below average for the protagonist. Xenoblade 1 had the best voice acting of any protagonist I've ever seen. Xenoblade 2 had the worst. Lots of people say that Rex's voice acting improves throughout the game, and I would definitely disagree. I found Rex's voice acting to be horrendous the entire way through the game, and at some points it was just mood killing to listen to his voice. Which is a massive shame because Xenoblade is a series that I used to associate with incredibly good voice acting, but now it's just Xenoblade 1 that I feel has good voice acting. Hopefully they can bring it back with the next game and maybe take some tips from Fire Emblem for selecting good voice actors for their protagonists. I've put about 190 hours into Xenoblade 2 so far, and I can definitely see myself spending hundreds more. There is such an incredible amount of content in the base game, and of course, if you have the DLC, you also have a whole other story which you can get through. Really, Xenoblade 2 is just a must-have for any JRPG fan. Even though the voice acting is pretty rubbish in comparison to the previous, well, the first game, and maybe even the previous one, it's definitely worth looking past it because it is such a brilliant game with some incredible gameplay mechanics, and honestly, I preferred it to Xenoblade 1. Well, that's my top 5 Nintendo Switch games. If you'd like to share yours, please leave a comment. I'd also like to show a couple other games which didn't make it into my top 5, but I'd also love to mention. They're on the screen right now, and a few of them are not exactly exclusive to the Switch, but I just really wanted to put them in there because these are also games that I love a lot. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.